Famicom Shogi Ryu Osen is a game that snuck up on me. It is the final game on the Famicom where you can play Shogi. It's not the last Shogi game. We still have two games in the Macon series to go there. But those are just replays of Shogi games. This is the last time that you could sit down and play a game of Shogi against your Famicom. There's still about six months before the first Morita Shogi game for the Super Famicom is released, but the writing is on the wall here, especially after you see how Ryu Osen performs. The title refers to the Top Shogi Tournament, and Ryu Osen had only been established in 1988. It was specifically created to be the big championship match. The game Famicom Shogi Ryu Osen offers three modes of play. First, there's a story mode. Here you step into the shoes of an amateur shogi player that has managed to survive the preliminary rounds of the tournament, and you have to climb your way to be the champion. Before the match, you can actually arrange the tournament bracket, selecting which players will compete against each other and possibly knock themselves out before they get to you. You can watch those AI matches, and of course you have to play your own game. Shogi is a game that descends from the same root game as chess, and it has many of the same features. Two identical sets of pieces set on opposite sides of a grid, each piece having their own method of movement. Shogi has two distinct differences from chess. Players can put pieces that they captured back on the board on their side, and pieces that advance far enough on the board may be promoted, which gives them some additional movement options. For most of the pieces, they're mainly restricted to moving forward, and promoting gives them options for going backwards. As you play out a match in Ryu Osen, the limitations of Shogi on the Famicom become really obvious. When you're on book, the AI can respond pretty quickly to you. That is to say, in the early game when you're playing moves that are commonly understood. When you break from that, the AI bogs down hard. Even simple moves take more than a minute to calculate. In the tournament mode, there's no difficulty selection, so you can't force the AI to make quick moves. Instead, it just sits there and calculates forever. It is so slow that the first time I encountered this behavior, I thought the game crashed and I reset it. But no, apparently this is a well-known problem with this game. There is a second mode, which for some reason is horror-themed, here you can play Shogi against another player, or build your own monster opponent, which just means you can set the difficulty down a bit. The third and final mode is one that gets a lot of praise. It's Shogi problems, but rather than just telling you that you're wrong when you pick a bad move, it just rolls back the clock one turn and lets you try again. And there are multiple options to complete each problem. You can also build your own Shogi problem here. I was kind of surprised that Famicom Shogi Ryu Osen is kind of well known, but it mainly seems to be known for being the last Shogi game on the platform. I found the tournament option to be kind of interesting, but when I, as somebody who can barely push pieces around, can tell that the AI is seriously chugging, I don't see how anyone who is good at Shogi could have the patience to complete the tournament. I've seen some skilled shogi players say that it takes well over an hour to complete a single match, even though the AI isn't especially strong. So maybe stick to Morita Shogi if you really want a shogi game on your Famicom.